Hello everybody, I am Phenom Sage, and welcome to the Spring 2018 Anime Season What I Am Watching Slash Reviewing video. Now your first thought might be, wait a second, the spring season doesn't start for another three weeks, why are you making a video now? And that is because this season is just so goddamn hype that I needed to talk about it as soon as possible, and I think that now that all the PVs are out for every single show that's airing, all the key arts, everything that we need to know is here, I am more than qualified to make this video now and hype up this season thoroughly before it gets started. If Winter 2018 was the surprise underdog of the year, then Spring is the MVP. So many shows, so many sequels, so many originals, so many adaptations. I am feeling the hype right now, and it's time to share that hype with all of you. So if you haven't already, go down into the comments and tell me what you are most excited for this season. If you're not familiar with the way that I structure these videos, because I've only done this kind of video once, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to list my most anticipated for next season, and then after that, we'll just go through all of them briefly and cover how I feel about a certain show. Now, there are a lot of shows that I will be watching and that I'm excited for next season, but I only have five that are in my most anticipated, and this is where we cut the line. These are the best of the best. These are what I expect to be Audi contenders at the end of this year. So let's just get started in my top five most anticipated. Starting off, I'm actually going to cover something that I've already made a separate video on if you're interested in what I have to say about this this particular anime. And just because it's number one doesn't mean it's my most anticipated. These five are all pretty interchangeable. I'm all excited for every single one of these, but let's just start off with number one, Megalobox. And there's not much I can really say about this I haven't already said. Action drama sports, it's that Ashita no Joe spinoff. I'm not familiar with the Ashita no Joe series itself, but this is appearing to be a standalone series. It's got a killer sci fi vibe to it, uh, sci fi boxing. The soundtrack sounds incredible. This might be some soundtrack of the season type stuff right here. And overall, I just think it shows a lot of promise. Can I, can I look at the PV right here just to see? So just check out this pv for yourself it's looking awesome it's looking so cool love the retro character designs they're going with it's got such an old school vibe to it it's looking like just an excellent action series so there that is megalobox coming in at my first pick in my top five most anticipated let's just go on to the very next one where is this thing there it is right down below Cutie Honey Universe, and this is a very acclaimed, very popular series that I actually have not watched any of, and I know I'll probably seem like some kind of fake, fake hyper, like, oh, Cutie Honey is the best thing ever. I'm not saying that. I don't know what this series is. All I know is that I've heard incredible things about past entries in the series, and from the PVs of this one, I am just so, so excited. This comes from the creator of Devilman Crybaby, or just the Devilman series in general, Go Nagai. Um, the OST, the action, let's see if I can get another PV in here just real quick showing you guys how excellent this series looks. Like, look at this! This just looks incredible! It's got that stylization, it's got that just retro vibe to it that I love. Um, let me see if I can show you my showcase though. Do they show the voice actresses in here? Oh! Here we go. You got Maya Sakamoto in there too, which is pretty great. But there she is! There's my love! Tomoyo Kurosawa is in as honey. Uh, she's one of the five main characters. I can't believe we're getting Kurosawa again already. Oh man, and we'll be getting into another series this season that has Kurosawa. It's just, it's a good time to be a Kurosawa fan. That's all I'm gonna say. Um... It's just looking awesome. I cannot wait. And I've heard that this series is standalone. Like, you do, you won't need to watch the previous seasons, previous entries in the series to get this one. But if I do like this, I absolutely will be going to check out those previous entries. And I am so, so excited. So that is uh, Cutie Honey Universe coming in at number two in my top five most anticipated. Coming in at number three, let's just go off of that Kurosawa hype. Where, where is it? Where is there it is? Hisone and Mi Masotan Greatness Studio Bones Original. Oh my god, what can I say about this that 
what I just said isn't enough to get you hyped. Studio Bones, original, fantasy, Tomoyo Kurosawa. Uh, I think Yuki Kaji is in there too. I could be wrong about that. I don't want to speak too soon, but god damn, this is looking excellent. Let's just take a look at this. Let's see what's going on here. I am just loving everything about this show's style. Look at this. Look at this greatness. Um... Kurosawa's character I think is this character right here and you can totally hear it in her voice it's incredible um the the premise itself seems kind of weird but I can dig it it's I love that they're not showing you the bulk of what this story is about if you read that premise you can tell that they're hiding something in this pv uh just go check it out for yourself if you're interested the ost is sounding incredible as well absolutely loving this Every single PV that I'm showing here will be linked in the description, so don't worry. If you want to go check that out for yourself, feel free. Hisone and Masutan coming in at that number 3 on my top 5 most anticipated of spring 2018. Let's just go on to the next one now. Where is it? Where is that greatness? Um, Hina Matsuri. And I, I don't know anything about this series. All I know is that someone in the Discord, Bill kept hyping this up to me and I kept trying to figure out like what is this what is it about and he tried to explain it to me and while I'm not quite clear on the premise itself I could just read it here but I actually I'd kind of rather go in not knowing everything while I didn't quite get the premise I did get the vibe that the series was going for and especially from the PV it's just so clear what kind of light-hearted affair this is gonna be but still have this supernatural element to it still have this stellar animation still has that emotional core to it while being a slice of life almost kind of like kobayashi in a way i'm really digging the way that this looks and i think that it's going to be one of the best shows of the season i think this will probably be one of the most consistent shows of the season because it appears to be a simpler series than some of the others that i've listed so far but that is not necessarily a bad thing simple series oftentimes means that it's easier to focus in on what is important and like i just said makes the series more consistent so i am just absolutely so excited for this hina matsuri go check out that pv in the description if you're interested that is at number four on my top five most anticipated and now finally finally my fifth most anticipated series for the spring 2018 season we saw it earlier we saw it where is it where is it? I just saw it earlier. Where is it? There it is. Finally, I found it. Lupin the Third Part 5. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys here. And I, I don't want you guys to roast me too bad in the comments for this. I have never watched another Lupin series before. And from what I've been told, that is completely fine. I can jump into this series like cutie honey universe i can jump into this part five and be completely fine not be confused and just enjoy this series so that is exactly what i'm going to do i know i need to watch the other series uh we just on the discord we actually just got finished recently watching the loop in the third movie by miyazaki the castle of cagliostro that was a great movie and i already know what kind of vibe and what kind of tone this will have if it follows in those footsteps so i am just so excited this is some of that adventure loving goodness that i've been waiting for lupin is basically just the adventures of Tintin in anime form uh, maybe not exactly like that but i get those vibes and that is why i'm so interested in this series uh here's hoping that it's fantastic i i seriously it's lupin how is that gonna disappoint um so yeah, I, I guess I'll show the PV here for posterity. This is just, this actually just released recently. This is what kind of sparked me into making this video because now I had PVs for all of the ones that I was super excited for. It's just looking so fun. Let's go. Look at how fun this looks. This is just what I've been waiting for in anime, man. I'm ready. And the soundtrack, I you can't hear it because I'm not recording the audio, but go watch that PV. You're in for some magic let's go and those are my top five most anticipated 
anime for spring 2018 season. Now before we get into scrolling down this entire list and I'll be checking off individually every single series this season, if I'm watching it, if I'm considering it, if I'm skipping it, etc, etc, I just want to talk about the possibility of reviewing the series that I've already mentioned and I just want to say that I am open to reviewing any series that I love next season. I am totally open to it, but I will say I'm going to be a lot more critical and selective about what I review this season, and that is because I have, I've tried twice in previous seasons to review a second show along with my quote-unquote primary show, and it hasn't really worked out either time, and I think I know the reason for that, and that is because both times I chose series that I don't really consider review worthy, talking about it every week, analyzing, having fun, discussing it. So this season, if I choose extra shows to review, I'm going to make absolutely sure that it is a series that I feel is worth discussing and analyzing and talking about every single week. That is my stipulation on top of, of course, just loving the series, having a passion for it, wanting to talk about it. So that is what I will be taking into consideration when thinking about what I want to review out of my top 5 most anticipated and maybe even some surprise hits in here that I am not personally excited for yet but once I watch that first episode, I'm like, oh my god, I need to talk about this. So just keep that in mind if you're wondering what shows I'm going to actually be reviewing next season. It's open to anything, but those top 5 most anticipated are looking the most likely for what I personally want to talk about. With that being said, let's just scroll down and cover each of these series individually. Uh, this isn't necessarily going to be as high octane as those top 5 most anticipated. It's probably going to be a lot more chill just me scrolling through these. So I hope you guys are okay with that. If not, you don't have to watch this part. That top 5 most anticipated is mostly the reason that I wanted to make this video, but... We'll, we'll go through all of these still, and we'll go through the movies and the OVAs as well. Let's just start off with uh, Shokugeki no Soma, and I'm going to say I will be skipping this, not because I don't want to watch it, but because this is the second half of the third season, and I haven't watched any of the seasons. Uh, so, forgive me for that, I'm just, you know, I, I haven't watched it, there's not much I can do about that. Moving on to Boku no Hero Academia, third season. I will of course be watching this, is there anyone on this planet that isn't watching Boku no Hero 3rd season? Let's, let's get real. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, uh, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Boku no Hero, but I, I'm of course excited for a 3rd season. And I've heard from many people that this is where the series uh, supposedly gets really, really good. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch it. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul Re. I uh, haven't watched any of the previous seasons of that. Uh, I've heard that the anime is actually not not great in terms of how it's handled from the manga. Apparently the manga is great, but the anime isn't as great because, you know, Piro, Piro is very mixed bag in terms of what they can deliver. Uh, High School DxD, not, I didn't watch past the first season. It's a fun show though. I, I, if I ever had the time, I feel like I might consider catching up and watching that, but as for right now, Nope. Uh, Steins Gate Zero, of course, I'll be watching that as well. I feel like I'm gonna need to rewatch uh, OG Steins Gate just to, just to refresh myself. It's been so long since I've watched that series, and I'm, I'm not as familiar with a lot of the elements, but uh, maybe I, somebody can give me a refresher or something. Uh, if not, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do something before it comes out so I'm not like, what is this? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> You know, that, I, I know how annoying that can get. Um, Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. This one is super interesting because I know a lot of people's immediate reaction to this is, oh, it's Sword Art Online, get that, get that trash out of here. But I counter that with a little something I like to call Studio 3 Hertz. That is a watching from me. Studio 3 Hertz has not let me down yet. Princess Principal, Flip Flappers, they're on a roll. I have, uh, I, I have moderate hopes for this series as well. Uh, I've heard it's actually being written by, um, ah, somebody good. Somebody really, like, somebody that I should know. Who is it? Who wrote this? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> um, it, it's somebody who wrote something really good. It's funny because I was just talking about this last night on Discord and I already forgot, but... Uh, I, I know somebody renowned is writing this, uh, who, they wrote the light novel, and apparently it's really good, so. I'm excited, 3 hertz, that was enough to get me in from the jump. Uh, Wataku no, Wataku ni Koiwa Muzukashi, 
Uh, I think I saw a PV for this. Let me read the synopsis real quick. Hey, this seems like it could be a fun comedy. I'll, I will consider that. A fun little comedy romance there. I, I dig that synopsis. I'll, I'm considering it. We'll see about that. It's funny because even though, even if I put something in red or considering, I still have plans to watch all of the first episodes of everything that I'm able to watch. Obviously not the like sequel seasons, but all these originals or, or all these new projects, I definitely plan on watching at least the first episode. So don't be concerned if I put something in yellow or red and you're excited for it and you want me to watch it because chances are I will also be watching it either way. This is more so my general feelings towards the project, not like am I actually only considering watching this. I will be watching this first episode. And even the ones I put in skipping, I'll probably at least check out the first episode. So don't worry about that. We're good. Persona 5, the animation. Uh, I'm a, I'm meh on that. Like, I've already beaten the Persona 5 game. So there's not really much else they can do with that that I, I haven't already seen. Unless you want to finally give me that protagonist x Yusuke greatness. That would get me watching immediately. But I don't think they're going to go that round. In fact, I don't know who they're going to go with. I, I haven't watched the Persona 4, the animation. I don't know if they actually go through a canon ship route. If they do with Persona 5, I assume they're going to go with Makoto. But we'll see about that. Uh, Jiken Hen Kazuku, Creatures Family Days, let me look at the synopsis again, I haven't watched all of the PVs or seen all of the synopsises, so sometimes I will have to read. Yo, this synopsis is kind of sounding pretty fucking hype. That is a considering for me. I am so down with this synopsis, they could take that in some really interesting places too. Uh, here's hoping that's good man, I'm excited. Uh, Devil's Line. I've already seen the PV for this. It's looking not good. It's looking not good at all. I'll still be watching that first episode just to see what kind of dumpster fire it is, but I'm not really getting my hopes up for that. Um, if you're excited for that, by all means, be excited. Just not really my kind of thing at all. It's looking very dumb. <laughs> and I'm just not a fan of the art style either. Uh, Tarakun wa koiwo shinai. Uh, sorry, again, it's probably cringe hearing me try to pronounce these Japanese names. I'm doing my best, okay? Uh, let's just read the synopsis. I'll be back in a second. Not much of a synopsis there, but again, I'm, I'm digging these comedy romances we're getting this season. That's a, that's a considering for me. Um, any, any comedy romance that doesn't sound immediately trash in the synopsis, I'm willing to check out. Like, that, that seems like it could be maybe good. Uh, Caligula, let's see what's going on here. Interesting. I'm I'm not like in love with this synopsis, but I think it could maybe be good. That's not an immediate skipping for me. Like uh, it, it could be good. I'm I'm I will watch that first episode, see how it turns out. I'm not familiar with the game at all, so uh, here's hoping for the best with that. I guess let's just move on to the next one. 3D Kanojo, Real Girl. Again, I'm not really a fan of these kinds. Ugh, fuck it. I'll read the synopsis. <laughs> you gotta love when they say this is sure to be the comedy program of 2018 that you won't want to miss. Um, I'll be honest, I, I didn't hate the synopsis as much as I thought I would. Uh, this could be good. I'm excited. Uh, Full Metal Panic, haven't watched any of the previous seasons. I'm hoping Zebek does some, some good stuff with this. The, the CG that I saw in that PV wasn't looking great though, I gotta be honest. But otherwise, Zebek is a really good studio. I'm hoping for the best as well, especially for all the people who were waiting so long for Full Metal Panic Season 4. I'm hoping for the best. That's all I gotta say. Um, but I will not be checking it out personally. What I will be checking out personally is this Golden Kamui greatness. The series has been hyped up for so long. Apparently, this manga is godly. I don't know anything about this series, and I'm not reading this synopsis either. All I know is that that is a must watch for me. People have been hyping up this series for ages. I I will absolutely be checking out this series, probably doing a first impressions on it if it's good. Uh yeah, that's that's an immediate watch for me. Uh, I already talked about Hunamatsuri, that's a must watch as well. Uh Maho Shoujo site, is this the edgy one? I think this is the edgy one. Let me just see this real quick. I'm almost positive this is the just insanely, yep, it is. <laughs> you know what? That's a considering for me. Just for how hilarious it looks. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe this manga is good. Somebody in the comments will be like, no, no, no. The manga is amazing. Don't, don't worry. I'm just saying what it, based on what I've seen in this in this uh, PV, it's looking like some edge lord garbage trash that will be amazingly funny to watch. So I will absolutely be watching that just for the just for comedy's sake. Uh, Akunto Kanojo. What what is this? Let's look at the synopsis here. Jesus, if winter 2018 was the season of slice of life, this season is the season of comedy romances. Uh, that's a considering for me. You gotta love when they put in the description, this character is initially aloof and abrasive, but later he's a kind-hearted boy. <laughs> I just love that. It's like they're trying to convince you. It's like, don't worry, he gets better. He gets better. Um, yeah, well, I'll check out the first episode. Why not? Uh, Tachibanakan Tolai Engel. Uh, what? is this that synopsis gives me nothing it's yuri so i know a lot of people would be happy with this uh i'm not really seeing much of substance there for me to watch but i again i'll watch the first episode see what's going on uh doreku the animation i haven't heard nobody's been talking about this meh that's a pass again i'll be watching the first episode anyways but i'm not impressed by that synopsis looks kind of Again, kind of edge lordy, so we'll see. Jushinki Pandora. This is one I did see the PV for. It's not looking good. I'll <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. If you want to go check out that PV for yourself, uh, you know what? I'll just show you here. I'll show you a tiny little snippet just to show you wh what I'm talking about. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. That's a pass for me. Uh, I'll still watch the first episode, but that's a pass. Uh, Piano No More, this is looking eh, like I, I, I was previously excited for this, but the PV really didn't give me much to go off of. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I think it could turn out good. I think it could turn out boring. I That could go either way. I'm I'm not too strong on my feelings either way, so that's a, that's a considering from me. Saredo, so, so I'm not even going to fucking try with this one. What's going on here? All right, that synopsis is too long. That's a skip because I remember watching this not or the PV for this and it was okay-ish. Not anything to not anything to actually talk about. Like I wouldn't tell somebody like, oh my god, did you see that Sumi Sumiboto? Why blah, blah blah blah? Did you see that PV? It's looking amazing. Like it's nothing like that. It's kind of just meh. So that's a skip for me. Alice or Alice. Again, what are we doing here, dude? That I'm not seeing any when I give something a skip that is when I just see nothing of substance that I care about that's basically what I mean when I skip something considering is when I'm like oh wow this might be good and then watching is just like I'm almost certain that this is going to be good so if, if you wanted an insight into what why I'm marking certain things the way that I am um Kakiro fuck that again I'm I, I, ah it hurts not being able to pronounce Japanese. <laughs> that's a considering for me. It was close to a, close to a skipping, but this, that synopsis actually sounds kind of interesting. So we'll see where they take that. I'm not expecting much. Uh, this Comic Girls, on the other hand, I will be watching. Just because I saw the PV, it looked like it could be a fun time. I don't think it'll be Bakuman or anything, but I think it could be a fun time. So I will definitely be checking that out. Uh, Neil Ad, Ad... Fuck these names, dude. I hate this. <laughs> um, Otome game. I I don't... I'm not even bothering with that. Let's not. <laughs> if that turns out good, I'll eat my words later. For now, I'm not bothering with that. Uh, Lady Spo... What's this? That sounds interesting enough. I, I will consider that, Lady Spo. You have piqued my interest. Um, I am already not into this <laughs> well i guess i am into it but not as something that i actually want to watch um so yeah that's a skip for me this on the other hand this uchu senkan tiramasu i don't know what that translates to i watched the pv it looks like it could be pretty funny it could be a fun time i will consider that the art style looks pretty pretty cool as well so i'm down with that uh captain subasa i just i don't care about sports anime right now um i saw the pv for this it's not great and i need like with sports anime i need a hook to get me into it i need that keijo level hook 
to get me interested in a sports anime now. Or just be Haikyuu season 4. That Hanebato next season is also another example of like sports anime that I'm actually interested in. This one, it's kind of just looking a bit generic to me. Not a fan. I'm sure somebody out there likes it. No offense to you at all. I'm just not interested <laughs> myself. Uh, this Amanchu Advanced, I've heard very good things about Amanchu. Shout out to Hearts on the Discord, but uh, I, I haven't watched the first season, so I can't watch that right now. Um, sure, that's going to be good, though. That might be might be an outs content. I don't know about outs. Never mind. I, I take that back. There are too many good things this season to pronounce something I don't even know as outs. Uh, butlers, that's... Jesus Christ, I've never been so immediate in a skip before. Uh, oh, here we go. This Legend of the Galactic Heroes greatness. I want your guys' opinion on this. Do you think I should watch this or should I save myself for the original series? Because obviously the original series, uh, the original OVA, considered one of the greatest series of all time by, by a lot of people. Uh, I'm, I'm fully prepared to dive into that. It's like a hundred something episodes and I was concerned about this one. And I feel like a lot of people share my concern that this remake, or I, I think it's a remake, there's not enough episodes to condense that many in the OVA into this one story. So I might actually, I might watch the first episode of this and then give it a bit of time and see what the general consensus is, if this is a very good remake that's worth watching over the original or not. Um, because they it says 12 episodes there. I've heard that this is the first half of something that will be 24 episodes even 24 episodes is quite a stretch to to condense so much content into a 24 episode season i don't think they can do it so what i'm hoping is that they're actually planning on stretching this over multiple seasons that would be the best approach to take this and in that case i would not mind watching this remake over the original but we will see about that i am not nearly qualified enough to make that call myself so i'll be waiting on your guys's general consensus on that to make my own decision but as for the time being i am absolutely going to be watching that first episode let's move on to this ggg no kitado greatness i'm just going to tell you that right now that's an immediate watching the pv looks incredible toei bringing in that work it's looking so it, it, tons of people shit on toy like this series looks like it's gonna have some of the best animation this season uh, obviously it's not gonna match up to the bone series that we're getting or stuff like the hinamatsuri but the you need to watch this pv the animation is looking spectacular uh this is the reason why they um shut down uh <laughs> shut down such a like harsh word or harsh term this is the reason why they uh i from what i assume this is why they're uh stopping dragon ball super so that way they can start production on this it's looking so cool i am so down with this uh it's based on something else i don't it's based on manga i don't i'm not familiar with it all i know is that it looks really cool so i will be watching that uh another thing i'll be watching wow we're getting into the hits now this is maho shoujo ore that is a watching from me I'm not even going to explain why I'm watching this. Just read the synopsis. You will understand. Look at this key art. I can't not watch this. This is this is a must watch. Uh, Megalobox, I've already talked about. This Wixos, I've heard so many things. I think that's how you pronounce it. Wixos, Lost Rage, I don't know. Uh, I've heard good things about this series in general. I don't know if this is a sequel season or if I can jump in here. Tell me in the comments what I, what I need to do with this. Right now, I'm going to assume that it's a sequel season and I can't jump in, so that's a skipping from me. But if you guys tell me otherwise that I can just jump into that, let me know and that will go to a watching because I've heard so many good things about this series. Uh, to Be Hero 2, I've heard good things about that first season, but I, I haven't watched it myself. Lost Song. Uh, I was going to just immediately skip this, but I'll, I'll read the synopsis. <sighs> I'll consider it, I guess. The synopsis sounds interesting enough that I'm I'm not gonna skip it immediately. Um, I don't know what this is. There's no synopsis. That Kier eh, the Kier art's actually kind of looking kind of kind of clean there. You know what? Just for that key art alone, and PA works doing the studio, and it's a sports series that actually looks like it actually has some kind of um, ingenuity to it. I will consider that. 
This sounds so boring that it might actually be good. That's a considering for me. I feel like they, they, it, it, this synopsis I feel is like trying to make you feel like, wait, that sounds boring as hell. I feel like they have something interesting planned for that. Uh, it could be fun. Slice of life comedy. I'm sure it's going to be a fun little, just if it's set in the same location, just a bunch of different conversations, or maybe it would be a bunch of different railroad crossings. I don't know, but, uh, that looks like it would be fun. Uh, Hisone and Mazutan already covered that looking excellent. That's a must watch. This one seems interesting. I'll consider that as well. Uh, I'm th no promises on how that's going to turn out, but I like that key art. I like that synopsis. Action fantasy magic. JC staff. You got you got me interested there. Uh, Hoseki no Rite Ritetsu. I think that's... Uh, I'm not even going to try and say what... Like, I feel like that's Hellgirl, maybe? But I'm not sure. I'm not even... Like, is it? Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, don't tell me. I'm, I'm probably sure I'm wrong. Either way, that's a second season. I can't watch it. Uh, the Sota no Ken. I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people love this character in the, the old series. This is a skip for me just because that the CG just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good to me at all. And I'm just not interested in the character or the story. I know I'll probably get lots of hate for that. I'm just, I'm not, I'm sorry. Uh, this Professor Layden uh, game movie d series. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll check that out. I'll check that out for sure. I saw the PV. It looks, looks fun. Looks like a, I've been waiting for a Layden anime, to be honest. Like it, it, it feels like it lends itself perfectly to that medium. So I'm excited. Definitely going to be checking that out. Uh, Gundam build drivers. Uh, I'm assuming that's part of the universal timeline. Cannot watch that. Need to start from the beginning. Uh, there's only so many Gundam series that you can just jump in, and that, I don't think that's one of them. Uh, Omaiwa Mata Gunma. I'm not even going to try. This sounds boring. I'm going to skip that. Of course, I'll watch the first episode, but I'm not really excited for that at all. Uh, I'm sure that a ton, tons of people will hate me saying that, Oh no! Omoiwa is the greatest series ever! What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, okay? I don't know all these series. I'm just going based off of the synopsis. I'm not interested in that based off of that. Cutie Honey Universe, that's a must watch. Uh, this, I've already read the synopsis for this. That's looking meh. I'm not that interested. Uh, it kind of gave me some Rakugo vibes from this, but it, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be a restaurant sort of thing. Not my kind of thing. Uh, Lupin the Third, that's a must watch. Major Second, another generic sports anime. If it turns out good, maybe I'll watch it. Inazuma Eleven, I've heard good things, but I haven't watched the previous seasons. I'm not even gonna touch whatever this is. Waka Okami, let's look at this synopsis real quick. Wait a second, is this the one that had the killer PV? I think this is the one that had the killer PV. Yep, this is the one. This just looks excellent. Uh, apparently this PV isn't really indicative of what the series will actually look like and this is just something purely for promotional purposes. I don't care. Uh, I hope that it at least somewhat lives up to this hype because this is just incredible. This is some movie quality stuff right here. Um, I can only hope that it looks this good. I, I can't say for sure if it will, but that's what I'm hoping for. Either way, I think that it could be a genuinely... Uh, fun experience altogether, so I'll be watching that regardless. It's Madhouse uh, cooperating with DLE. I don't even know DLE. I don't even know what that is, but I'm I'm excited regardless. That looks like it could be a lot of fun. Um, I'm good here. I'm good here. I've already seen the PV for this. I'm not interested. Ikatsu Friends. What's this? An idol anime. Not interested unless it turns out great. Uh. What? What is this? Essay manga? Oh, it's a short. 26 episodes of one minute. I'm not a fan of shorts, but maybe I'll check it out. Uh, this Pre-Chan, I think this is part of the... Wait, is this Pre-Cure? I don't think... Never mind. I don't think this is Pre-Cure. More idle stuff, not a fan. Beyblade, not a fan. Or uh, And I just haven't watched any of the previous series. Yokai Watch, haven't seen any of them. Puzzle and Dragon, haven't seen any of them. Uh, Koneku, this just... That's not... Is that... Yeah, <laughs> Usagi, what is this? That looks like that's going to be an adorable little kid's show, but I will not be watching that. Same for this, that's the third season anyways, and this is a third season as well. 
And usually that's how it usually goes with these final few. They're always those kids shows that nobody's interested in. Otherwise, this season is looking fantastic. You, you'll know that I, or you'll note that I haven't really marked too many things in red. Like some things I did, uh, there's a decent amount, but there are a ton of shows that I'm actually legitimately excited for outside of my top five most anticipated. So I'm super excited for this season. Very pumped. Let's get into movies now. There, there are a few movies I wanted to talk about. For one, this Fate Stay Night greatness. I will be watching this as soon as I actually watch Fate Stay Night. I need to watch that before I check out this. Or at least, that's why I've heard from some people. Others have said, "Oh, you can you can watch that on its own or whatever." So I don't know what to do. I see Fate Stay Night spoilers immediately here, so I'm not gonna read that. Uh, Bunko Stray Dogs haven't watched it. Uchiage Hanu oh this is that one from Shaft I'll be watching this as well because that's Shaft I think Shinbo is even directing this but I could be wrong either way I'm definitely going to be watching that uh that's a recap movie I'm not going to be watching that meh not interested Batman Ninja absolutely watching this Servamp not having I haven't seen it Godzilla haven't seen the first one heard those that first movie was meh uh Kimi no Koi Yo, that looks like it could be a fun little fun little drama here. Madhouse animated. That is a that is a watch from me. Digimon haven't seen. Marrying the Witch's Flower. I'll consider that because you know I'm I'm interested in this movie. Haven't heard the greatest things, but I haven't heard terrible things. So I I am interested in this in this movie. I feel like it could be a fun time. This Liz To Aoi Tori greatness. Let's go. Um. This is the Hibike Euphonium spin-off movie uh, from the two, two characters, Nozomi and Mizori, in season two. It's just going to be so good. You got Yamada, director of Asylum Voice, in on this staff. It's going to be excellent. I know it's going to be excellent for a fact. It's kind of weird, actually, because if you look at the style of the these PVs, the characters look much different, like all of them. It's a very different art style from uh from the euphonium series where is it like look these characters don't look they look very different than what they look like in the euphonium series i don't think that's a bad thing i think that's actually a really interesting direction to take for that i just it, it's so interesting to me that yamada is allowed to continue to just get away with whatever she wants uh, I don't think another director would be allowed to change the style so drastically, but now that she has that silent voice pedigree, she, she's allowed to do whatever she wants. Uh, Full Metal Panic, I've never seen it. Um, Gochimon? No synopsis, that's a skip. Free, that's a skip. Girls und Panzer, I need to watch that, but that's a skip. Full Metal Panic, that's a skip. Midnight Crazy Trail, and an original at that. What is this? That is a watch from me. I'm kind of digging that. I'm. That's looking really interesting to me. Uh, Detective Conan, that's a skip. This Hebe K Euphonium greatness, but it's a recap, so that's a skip from me. Um, the Hikara Sun seems kind of good, actually. I just read the synopsis here. I'll consider that. Hikara Sun, okay, now you're getting into the crazy stuff. You're releasing both of these movies simultaneously. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess it's just the 2018. No confirmed release date there. Uh, Maho Shoujo, that's a pass. Um, Time Driver, what's this? That's a badass name there. I'm digging that. I'll consider that. The, I'm kind of digging that synopsis there. Uh, there's this Uchu Senkan again. Haven't watched it. Don't know about that yet. This Doraemon Greatness. I haven't watched the series. This movie looks incredible. I might be watching that on my own regardless. Uh, this new Miyazaki CG short film, I'm, I'm considering that. Uh, if you've seen the PV, it looks, it looks, or not the PV, but if you've seen, like, some of the art for it, it looks interesting enough that, um, you know, it looks like it could be good. Uh, this DC Superheroes, uh, no, uh, Milky Panic, what, what kind of name is that? Uh, that's probably a famous, th oh, it's an original, okay. Um, still though, no. Uh, Shin Chan, not familiar with that series, this Precare Superstars, not familiar with the series. I'm sure that's going to be great regardless, though. Uh, Prepara, don't know what that... I've heard of that name, but I, I'm not familiar with that. And this Engimon, I'm just going to pass on that. I'm not, not going to worry about that. So there, there's the movies there. A lot of exciting movie projects as well that I'm excited for. 
very pumped for a lot of these projects. Uh, now let's go into OVAs. There, I'm not sure how many OVAs here that I'm actually excited for. Uh, the Shokugeki, haven't seen it again. The Shingeki no Kyojin, I think this is already out. Maybe this is just the last one or so. Oh, OVA 2, okay. Uh, I haven't even watched the first one, but I'll watch that. Uh, Real Life, not familiar with this, but I'm, I've heard good things. Uh, you know, I'm sure that's going to be fine. So we're online, going to pass. Uh, <laughs> you need that three hertz there for me to care about sort of online these days. Um, Shimaimao Testament, I don't know what that is. Guess that's a pass. This Mob Psycho Greatness, I thought this was on last... Oh, this is coming on three days? Let's go! I am very excited for this. Awesome, I didn't know that was coming out so soon. Okay. Definitely excited for that. Uh, Boku no Kano Kanojo, okay, I don't know what that is. Same for this Yukio Holder, and haven't seen it. Aiko, I watched the first episode. I was going to make a video on it, but I just... I did not like that first episode enough to talk about it. It's, it was, it was fine. It just wasn't great, and I've heard mixed things going forward about how it actually turns out. So I don't know when I'll make the time to watch that, but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That's a, that's a skip for me for now. Uh, Yoda Camp. When I actually catch up with that, I will be watching that special. Uh, Isekai. Isn't this? Oh, this is that Isekai restaurant from Sunrise. I'll consider that. Sunrise does good stuff. I'm down. Uh, like I go with Be the Beginning, I watched that first episode. Wasn't loving it, uh, but it is more well received than Ico, so I so I guess there's a higher chance of me going to see that. Uh, plus, the dub is actually watchable, unlike Ico. Jesus, if you want one of the worst dubs I've heard in recent memory, go watch that Ico dub. It is just incredible how bad it is. Uh, the Be the Beginning dub is actually pretty good. But, uh, again, I wasn't very impressed by that first episode other than the animation, so not going to be watching that. Days, haven't seen. Uh, Children of the Whales, didn't watch past that first episode. Sword Guy, I don't know what that is. I guess I have to watch this, or I have to read the synopsis before I pass it off. Yeah, I was right to pass that off. That's, that's seeming kind of mad to me. Uh, Nanatsu, what is this? Uh, oh, it's another series. Okay. Uh, Junji Ito, need to catch up with that right now, I can't watch that. Uh, same with this Vatican, don't even, like, I didn't even hear good things about that series. Uh, Sanrio Danchi, that's again, not anything I'm interested in. Uh, this apparently is really good, but I can't watch it, because it's part of, uh, Universal Timeline, Universal Century, whatever you want to call it. It's part of that timeline, I can't. Uh, don't know what this is, don't know what this is, don't know what this is, and I don't care what this is <laughs> i'm just messing i'll look into this real quick yep i don't care what that is and i think that's about it um i think we've covered everything in spring 2018 season uh so like i said at the beginning this is looking like an excellent season i hope you guys got some insight into what i'm excited for i hope i put some things on your guys's radar that you weren't aware of that you're like oh i need to check that out that looks awesome uh because that was kind of why i wanted to make this video i just wanted to Raise awareness for some of the series I'm super excited for. Like, some of the, the... All of my top five most anticipated are very low on these popularity charts. Like, Hisoni and Mazutan all the way down here. Cutie Honey and Lupin both way down here as well. What's going on, dude? These series look incredible and they're so low. Uh, same, even Megalobox, which uh, should be one of the most anticipated for this season, is all the way down here. Like, what is going on? Uh, surprisingly, is Hinamatsuri, like... I expected that to be one of the most low-key ones here, but it's pretty pretty high up here. Um, and then, of course, in a, in a world filled with these sequel seasons, of course they were going to be higher than everything. Uh, I'm surprised that Food Wars is higher than uh, Boku no Hero, but, you know, I'm sure, sure Food Wars is great, so that's not so surprising. But that has been all from me for this Spring 2018, what I will be watching slash reviewing video thank you all so much for watching this i don't know how long this is going to be once i've just cut everything together but it's going to be it's going to be fun to go through this whole season with you guys cover everything again it's going to be super busy winter 2018 was busy enough like covering all of the series that i wanted to make videos on i can't even imagine how many good series there are going to be here and all of them i'll want to make at least first impressions on so 
We'll see how that goes. I'm super excited regardless though. More good stories, more good anime is always a good thing for us. Again, thank you all so much for watching and as usual, have a good day.